can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mindset on one thing tonight, that UFC championship. You ready to fight? Ready. Boy, right, so here we are at the O2 Arena in London, England, and for my money, this is as good a mixed martial arts backdrop as we have. Another capacity crowd on hand, as usual, for the UFC's annual stop here in London. The fans in England love sport. They love competition, and they show up, and they know what they're watching. You better be ready to put on a show when you step foot in the octagon at the O2 Arena. And you better be ready backstage if Leon Edwards is anywhere. Oh, man, let me tell you something. Leon Edwards is the man around here. Real quick leg kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Early connection with the left from the champ. Hands going from the clinch. He lands a nasty shot from there. Another strike to the head lands. Beautiful body kick. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on brawl. These guys said that they were going to point to the center of the octagon, and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Nice elbow lands on the inside. Punches in bunches as he lands another combination there, really doing a nice job stringing the shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. I mean, this is his game here. Control your opponent's posture, land those nice elbows around the, around the guard. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Left hand connection and a right. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Pretty good hit kick there. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Set up that low kick. Nice straight right, Lance. Back to the overhead. Oh, man, he lands another punch to the head. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. With that punch, no good. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's been the day. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh, another beautiful combination there, DC. If this is not his best striking performance in the UFC, I'm not sure what was. We've never seen him look so good. And confidence starts the combination. Combinations come from confidence in believing that all the reps that you have done in the gym is going to show itself when the octagon door closes. Tonight it has been just that for this fighter. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. Nice jab. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. Nice shot there by the champ. 
Under a minute now to go in the round. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. And a miss with the right hook. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. And that one certainly found the target. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, roundhouse kick. All right, here, final seconds of round one. Oh, massive kick oh. lands for huh. Five minutes in the books. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so here. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself off. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. You can't take too many of those big elbows. Oh, nice knee to the body, very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. There's the leg kick, that one checked by Lee. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Beautiful strike. Oh, another bruising shot right to the body. I wouldn't think you want to take too many more of those. No, John, you got to you got to defend. You got to address a tactic that has worked this many times this early in a fight. You cannot allow it to continue to build because once that momentum gets going, you will have no way of stopping. And I don't have a lot of muscle over there, so I don't <laughs> think I could take too many of these if I was a fighter. Well, you need that body like mine if you want to get <laughs> hit down there. You can't be you can't be too skinny. Effective with the jab. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Lee gets hit with a kick. That was a nice combination there. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Nice block. Huge damage in that elbow. Best punch in the game, beautiful jab. He's throwing these punches in combination, really dictate the pace to his opponent. Lee gets caught by that straight punch there. That was a beautiful head kick. Gets to the single collar tie. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. What a beautiful body kick. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Keep your hands up. 
Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Oh, how clean is that? Nice strike. Get ready, get ready. Minute and a half to go round two. Straight right hand now just misses. Get off first. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Nice kick landed there by Lee. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, beautiful job getting the foot to the head there. Back and forth we go. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Leg kick. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, heavy kick downstairs. Oh, man, another huge kick. Good run. Stop, stop, stop. All right, deep breath, man. Good round. That was a good round, but I need those kicks to land a little more. All right? We're not setting them up good enough. So all right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. You ready? You ready? Let's do it. Round three of a possible five. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these huge uh, strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. He gets lit up by that straight punch. Single collar tie now. Over and over, this guy's getting hit right in his face. Oh, double jab there by Lee. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Nice punch to the head. Oh, big stick up top. That's another one. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Try to establish that jab. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Both fighters start to open up a little bit. Oh, doing work with the jab. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous one. 
throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Good jab there by the champion. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking time. He got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was the significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different, and he's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. Takedown defense holds up. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Lee. Attack, attack, attack. Drives the shin into the rib. Great body kick. Nice. So the fighter limping now as a result of all those leg kicks. We'll see if he can make some adjustments. He's got to make some adjustments. And checking the kick right now is not going to work. It's too late. This guy should have addressed this early. But now he's going to have to tough it out and get through this. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Great diversity in his attack. Nice elbow from the clinch. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done, though. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, and being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if yeah, every right. time he gets hit there, the right. blood goes down into the mouth, yeah. making it difficult to breathe. All right, here's round four, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of a fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Big shot lands for both guys. Well, the most significant stat in this fight, and you can see it right there in plain sight, bottom of your screen, the body strikes. His opponent has had absolutely no answer. He hasn't lowered his guard with the elbow whatsoever. And I'm not sure how many strikes to the body he can take before he ends up crippling here. We'll see. Well, I'm an identical twin. Two is better than one. You might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up on the jab, and you see his opponent's head popping back every time he lands. Oh, nice inside leg kick. Yeah. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing his kick over and over again. Oh, a double jab again. I'm not sure if the nose is broken. It ain't going to feel good in the morning, I can assure you if that. If it's not broken, he takes many more of these. It will be broken. Move the head. Nice knee to the body by Lee. Let's go. Look for that takedown. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. There it is. He's cut. Give him the elbow. 
Lee gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Still plenty of time with which to work here, round four. Nice jab. Oh, good elbow there. Sidekick is true. And that spinning kick found its home up top. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Good combination there. I really hope this man doesn't have to sneeze tomorrow. It is not going to feel good. He has absorbed a whole lot of damage to the body, and they might stop this fight soon. Could you imagine what his ribs feel like oh. right now after taking all that damage to the body? It's visible. He looks like he's overreacting. He's wincing. It's hard to watch, man. Very hard to watch. Well, an incredible fight thus far. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. If you wondered about the heart on either side, that question was answered tonight. Nothing. There are no more questions in regards to these two fighters. Both of these men have been hurt. Both of these men are swollen. They're bloody. They're both, even though them. They're both willing and ready to continue this fight. All right, has the guard closed here? All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't wanna play around here too long. No, you gotta either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangles. Oh, right, it's a mount. Gotta be careful here. Under a minute to go. And he is back up to his feet. That's a really strong leg kick there by Lee. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. That shot made it perfect. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. He better check. That leg's getting beat up. Rips the body there. Final seconds. Potentially five to go. All right, you're doing great, okay? I want more of the same. You are controlling the entire fight. Stay sharp, don't get relaxed. So wherever we're at, we're still... Ready to fight? Ready. Go. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. All right, so here we go with our next round. Certainly a seminal moment in that previous round as he rocked him and nearly got him out of there. We'll see who has the upper hand now here. That was a huge moment for him in that round. He found his shot, rocked his opponent, could get the finish, but he had to feel good walking back to the corner and now getting back off of the stool to start the next round. Big knee lands right to the corner of the Once again, employing the knee. Oh, nice. Back to the hook now. Oh, that is a nasty inside leg kick, DC. It is a great technique but it only takes one time to check it, right. and your night can be over. Or you can end up like Anderson Silva. Be careful. Got an issue, here's a tissue. Controlling the fight behind that jab. Elbow from the clinch lands. Oh, the head kick there is his hands, and maybe time to get the ball. 
Lotus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike in the night. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste those opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Oh, that's a good knee to the body there by Lee. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Three minutes now to go in this one. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy. Lands a good series of kicks here. Well, you thought the cup man did his job, but that cut on the nose is just nasty, and it is pouring blood now. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice technique on the sidekick. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left. Grips the body there. Big knee lands to the body. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Well, that strike landed. Not going to help that cut at all. And I think for a lot of us non-fighters, it becomes hard to watch that area just continue to get targeted and bludgeoned. Over and over again. And it's what you're supposed to do yeah. as a fighter. You can't have heart as a fighter. You got to look at that thing. You got to look at that work that you've done. You got to take that canvas and you got to paint it, man. You got to get at it over and over again and continue to attack that same area. Feel sorry for the guy after the fight. Yeah. But right now, he's got to pay the price. Under a minute now to go in the fight. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Throws that deep and it lands. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Right, Lance. Now well, we'll see if he has any response here. His opponent continues to land. A lot of swelling upstairs. Well, you got to move your head. You've got to be preemptive. You cannot wait until your opponent starts to throw something in your direction. You've got to avoid right now if you want to avoid having this become an issue. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks.